What's up guys, Shenanigans back at you here with another video. Oh my God, has it been in quite the weekend. So I wanted to put this out for you guys Friday. Uh, God, long story short, um, I'm back on military orders. So uh, I'm not really gonna get into how that happened or why, um, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm happy to be back doing it. Um, so that was pretty cool. Get back to the unit and be with the boys again. But uh, today, just got a quick video it's been requested i know the bikes ignore this one here that's probably just a little eye candy for you i'm in my yard so you know nothing crazy but uh that's my son's bike that's a 08 yamaha ttr 50 at least i believe it's an 08 if i'm wrong somebody correct me in the comments but anyways um this has been requested uh the spark arrestor removal now i kind of just did a mock-up um of the spark arrestor it's I mean, you know, bolt here, there, and then one back there. And then you have a bolt here, here, and here. So um, I have all the kit, I have all the hardware. Um, I just haven't, I don't know. I, did, I didn't wanna like bolt it all back up just to take it right back out. But um, that's really all you got to do guys. Uh, the reason this is bent is because these freaking screws that Honda sends from the factory are trash, total garbage. Um, so that one just stripped out. And basically what I did was I took out just the two and then I just kind of bent it. Um, and I figure if I ever need it back on, you know, just cinch it up and then I'll, I'll bend it back and do the, uh, the other bolts, um, that go on there. And then I guess that one's just permanently in there cause it's, it's pretty stripped. Uh, you might take like some penetrating oil or something uh, like PB blaster or something that could Could get you in the groove. Maybe help you get that out. I'm not sure. Jesus. My bike is so dirty guys Ugh, she gross Anyways, I'll get it washed up this week, but I mean it's a dirt bike, you know, what do you expect? Uh, but anyways um, When I put this in uh, I actually moved it uh, from my driveway <laughs> over here just to the center of the yard um, and I, I left it in there and it actually does make a pretty noticeable difference. Uh, so I'm gonna turn the bike on, just kind of let you guys hear uh, the difference. I'm kind of scared that when I give this like the juice, um, it's probably gonna fly out, but uh, you know, yellow, whatever. So um, also I'm up to 780 miles on this beast. Uh, and again, trouble free. Um, really nothing to complain about so far, so. And that's with the spark arrestor in. Let's see. It's probably guaranteed it's gonna fly out. Watch. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's coming out a little bit. But, when you pull it out, Pretty much what you're working with and you're gonna have like a little ring uh basically that um kind of sits back here towards these welds uh i'm not really sure what it's for maybe it seals it up i don't know but in any case we don't we don't need that right now i can just go chill over there this is without the spark arrestor a lot better whole lot better i love it so anyways, guys, um, just a quick one for you. Uh, if you do take it out, definitely keep it, uh, keep your bolts. I just put mine in a little bag um, and I put it in a box with all the other crap that I took off, like the, uh, the stock pegs, um, you know, I kept those. Pretty much everything stock I keep. I don't know why, I've just always done it, even with cars. Um, so yeah, that's that, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Shenanigans out.